Hello all. Welcome to part 41 of Python tutorial. In this session, I am going to explain and practically demonstrate about file handling. So let's get started. In Python, as part of file handling, we can read the data from the files or we can write the data into the files. Either you want to read data from the files or write data into the files, we have to first open the files and then we have to perform either reading or writing. After that, we have to close the files. Okay. So, in order to read or write data from or into the files, okay, first we have to open the file. In Python, first we have to open the file. Then, if you want to perform writing the data into the file, write it. And after you are done writing the data into the file, close it. Okay. This is the process. Similar thing for reading also. First, we have to open the file, then read the data from the file, and then close the file. Okay. And then close the file, guys. This is the process. Okay. This is the process. Now let me practically demonstrate how to write data into the files in Python. For that, I'll open this PyCharm ID. Here we have the sample Python file. And here I will create a variable like file is equal to, I'll say open off. Here I need to provide the path, okay? Path of the file, comma, what operation you want to do after opening this file, sorry. After opening this file, what operation you want to do on this file? I want to write the data into the file. If you want to write data into the file, you have to say W. There are three notations here, guys. Either you can mention W here or R here, or the final one is A. Okay. W stands for writing, R stands for reading. Okay. You are opening the file. What is the purpose behind opening the file? You want to write the data into the file. In that case, you have to mention while opening the file, you have to mention W here so that you are going to write data into the files. While opening, if you mention R here, the R means reading, guys. Okay. You are opening this file with the purpose of reading the data from the file. Okay. Then you have to mention R. Or there may be some situation where you want to append the new data into the file, okay? Along with existing data, some new data you want to add into the file. That is called as appending, right? That is called as appending. In case, if you want to perform appending operation, then while opening the file itself, you have to mention A here, okay? A mode. These are the modes, guys, okay, in which you are opening the file. For now, our first requirement is to write data into the file. So I'll open this uh, file in writing mode okay i'll open this file in writing mode and here i need to provide the path of the file okay i need to provide the path of the file let me provide the path uh, where exactly i want to create let's say i'll create a folder here the same project itself you can also create the folder in your machine and give the path guys that's not a problem let me create this uh, folder in the same project so i'll say files okay under this files i'll create a new file Okay, say sample text file case. Okay, so I'll say Arun dot txt file. Okay, some sample text file. Here you see there is nothing in this file, right? There is currently there is nothing in this file. So I'll give the path. I'll copy the path. Copy path or reference. And uh, when I say right click on this file and say copy path or reference, I'm getting this multiple options. I'll take the absolute path for now and paste it here as it is. Okay. And here you have to replace this back uh, backslash with uh, multi double backslash just replace this backslash with double backslash for giving the path in python okay done and this is a file guys i am talking about this is the file this is the path of this file and uh, i am opening this file in which mode write mode so that i can perform write operation now i'll say file dot okay write okay file dot write what i want to write just write guys whatever Want to write okay my name is arun motori okay and uh, i will write again i'll write one more statement okay i am teaching python programming okay like these two lines have written after you write the required data into the files using this uh, write statements now final thing is after you are done writing what you have to do you have to close the file right so for that i'll say file dot Close, that's it. Okay. Now run this code, guys. Run this code. Right click. Run. Okay. It has been run. Now open this text file. You see, whatever the text have typed here, right? Using this right statements, whatever I have provided, right? That got typed. But the problem here is this statement and this statement got printed in the same line. I want this statement to be coming in the new line. So what I have to do here is I have to say somewhere here, I will say slash n new line okay now run this code so original uh, i mean 
previously written text will be replaced guys because this is write mode okay i am opening this file in which mode write mode if i say append mode this text will get appended okay the uh, previously entered text will not be gone if i say append but if i say write mode here the previously containing the file containing the text right this text will be replaced by this new text okay that is the write mode guys it is not going to append write mode is not going to append the text rather it is going to replace this text okay replace this particular old text with this new text where slash n is there okay run this code done now open the text file you see this time the old text is gone and the new text came my name is arun motori and in the new line because of slash n here okay the control is going to the new line and here again i am teaching python programming is got printed fine done so this is called as uh, writing guys okay so if you have to write uh, data into the files in python you have to open the file then perform writing whatever you want to write write it how many lines you want to write write it and after that you have to close it okay now the next thing writing is done guys it's all about writing now let's read read the data from the files okay so what i will do here is i'll remove this stuff okay as we have already written the text okay as uh, the text is already there i don't have to write it again right the text file arun.txt file already has the text okay so this time the purpose i am opening this file is for reading right the read mode i am opening this particular arun.txt file in read mode i cannot write now i can only read from the file okay so i want to read the data from the file for that we have several methods okay several functions you can several functions in inbuilt functions in python for reading the data from the files okay so we can use as simple as read okay if i say file dot read like this if i do okay this will read the entire entire text from this file okay whatever this file has the entire content will be read by the read function okay but i have to print it right i have to print it or i have to store this in something okay so print it okay whatever that is read will be printed in the output run this code you see in the output my name is arun motori this whatever the text that is there inside the already there is some text inside this arun.txt file right that got read by this read inbuilt function of python okay and it has been because of this print statement it is printed here okay so using read using read we can read all the text that is there in this file okay now i don't want to read the entire text that is there in the file rather i would like to read only the 15 characters Okay, only up to 15 characters i want to read i want to restrict this reading to 15 characters here how many characters are there uh, which got read using the the complete text the complete text is of uh, more than 15 right 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 up to here is a 15 guys okay so this extra will not come now because i am restricting that to 15 characters only it has to read only 15 characters now run this code you will see up to my name is arun got printed okay that is 15 next read lines it will read all the lines okay here in this arun.txt file there are two lines you can have more lines also for now there are two lines so if i say file dot otherwise if i say file dot read lines lines all the lines will be read one by one okay so this will return in the form of list guys okay string list so here i'll say lines is equal to okay whatever the lines here only two lines are there so the two lines will be returned in the list format this lines is nothing but the list so you you know how to work with the list right for each loop we can use for line in for each and every line in lines okay print that line okay if i say like this okay for each and every line in that lines print that line okay so this way we can do guys run this code you see my name is arun motori some space is coming here and i am teaching python programming okay so i am teaching python programming okay you see the text has been read from the files right so line by line okay like this okay this, this if i print this lines as it is okay for example if i print lines like this okay the list of lines will be printed okay the list of lines will be printed on this code you see the list of lines got printed you see this is a list guys in python you already know right in the previous sessions i already explained uh, how the list looks like square brackets and closed and in that each and every element is a line right each and every element is a line go here guys so there is a slash in here somewhere that's why it is coming that's why we are getting too much of space here that's okay while writing the text uh, we were writing like that right there's no other way okay i'll say my name is uh, arun motori okay uh, i am teaching 
I'm just modifying this text. Now let's see. Okay, Python programming. Okay, like this, I'll write. Now save this file. Okay, it's already saved, I guess. Now let's open. Yeah, it's saved. Auto save. Done. Now what I'll do is I'll I'll say I'll just run this code. Okay, I'll run this code. This time it will be good. You see, my name is Arun Motori. I am teaching Python programming. Okay, I am teaching. A list of string texts are coming here, but here. So it's not going to the new line, right? It's not going to the new line. Okay. What do I have to do? If, uh, I have to. My name is Arun Motri. I'm teaching Python programming. It's not coming in a single line because it is reading this entire thing as a single line. I have to do like this. Okay. Then it will work. Now run this code. You see, my name is Arun Motri. Slash n is there because of that new line. And then my name is Arun Motri. Slash n. And I am teaching Python programming. Got printed. Okay. So like this, guys, uh, we can use read lines. We can read all the lines, okay? All the lines, in the text, and all these lines will be stored in the form of list. And uh, in order to work with the list, you already know, right? How to use for loop with the list, for each loop with the list. So with that technique, I am able to print all the lines in the text, okay? Text file. Now, few more, uh, few more uh, inbuilt functions are there. The next function we have is the read line, guys. Okay? It reads line by line. Okay? Only one line it will read. It, it's not a list of lines. It's a one by one line. Okay? Let's see. Uh, here I'll remove all this stuff and simply say file dot read line only line single line. Okay, this will only read single line. So if I print off file dot read line and this only one line will be printed. My name is our first line in the this text file. Only this first line in the text file got printed. Again, if I say print off file dot read line, okay, file dot read line. This will print the next line. Okay, after reading the first line, this will print the this is the first line. This is the second line, guys. Okay, open this file. Second line will be printed in the output. Run this code. You see, my name is Arun Motori. The second line I am teaching Python programming is getting printed here. Okay. So this is how the read line will work. And now we can also append, guys. Okay. The existing text we can append the text. So let's do one thing. Uh, for appending, right? We have to open this uh, file in right, uh, append mode, A mode. Okay. You have to give A here. A means appending. Now I'll say file dot append off. Uh, sorry, not append. Uh, file uh, appending mode. I'm file dot write. You have to say. Again, file dot write. So this time it's not going to write, guys. It's going to append because here we have a right here. Let's give the text. Uh, let's say slash n. Okay, Python is an easy programming language. Okay, Python is an easy programming language. Run this code. You see. Okay, so. Here, a mode and writing means it's not writing actually, it's appending, guys. So, if you open this around.txt file, you see you got one more line, okay? Python is an easy programming language. You got a space here because you gave the space, okay? That's a problem. So, I'll remove this again and let's run this again. I'm just removing this part, okay? Now, run this again. Run this. This time you'll get proper. You see, this will get appended. So, you see, it's not overriding this ex existing text, it's adding a, it's appending a new line, okay? It's not overriding the previous text with the current text. Okay, so it's appending means it will append. It will not uh, delete the old and uh, add the new one. It's instead attached. Okay, Python is an easy programming language. My name is Arun Motri. I'm teaching Python programming. Python is an easy programming language. Done. Now next one, guys. Next one is using for each loop for reading a file. Okay, so so now we have three three lines in this uh, text file. We have three lines in the text file. What I will do is after opening the file before closing the file. I'll write this uh, for loop like this, okay? For line in file, okay? For each and every line in this file, print that line, guys. Nothing much, okay? Print that particular line, guys. Nothing much, okay? You can also use like this, okay? You don't have to uh, use read lines and convert that to list. And for with the list, you don't have to use a for each for each loop. Rather, directly, okay? Using this file only, we can say for here. You don't have to mention line. You can mention a l whatever you want. But to understand, right, for each and every line, I just gave line here for line in file, for each and every line in the file, print that line. Okay, here we have this particular text file has three lines, so it will print three lines. Okay, so what's the problem? Okay, it's okay, append. Okay, you see, the problem is in appending mode. I cannot read, right? Okay, I cannot read this. This is trying to read, so R mode, you just change it to R, R for reading. Now run this code, it will work. My name is Arun Motri, first line. After that, I am teaching Python programming. Python is an easy programming language. Everything got printed. Fine. 
so this is the thing guys okay this is how we can read or write data into the files and from the files and also we can additionally we can also mention appending mode where we can also append the new text to the existing text in the file okay we can get more text into the file okay without replacing the old text we can append if you only say w old text will get replaced with the new text okay replaced here no replace it's appending it's reading only okay like this we can handle the files in python guys so that's it guys thank you bye